Hello everyone, I'm Chen, an assistant professor at Shanghai Jiu Tong University. I'm delighted to present our work, Asymptotically Optimal Policies for Dynamic Ambulance Dispatch. A joint work with my wonderful co-authors, Professors Tong Wang and Jing Wei and Zi Yan. Emergency medical services are critical for saving lives, with ambulances needing to arrive promptly. However, due to increased medical demands and limited ambulances, delays in ambulance response have become common. So when this issue is urgent, given the unpredictable demand and service patterns. So what is the response time? As we can see this figure, the response time starts from the time of call arrival and ends at the time of ambulance arrival to the scene. Our model addresses the city's and emergency stations, each with BI ambulance units. The city is divided into J sub-regions, considering patients from different regions with different emergency levels. Emergency calls from sub-region J follow a postal distribution with parameter lambda J, while ambulance service times follow an exponential distribution with rate mu i J. We will later show our results also hold for general service time distributions. The cost to dispatch from station I to serve call J is known as CIJ. We also introduce big CJ as cost for dispatching a flexible unit, such as a private ambulance or a unit from a nearby jurisdiction, according to the mutual aid policy. Our goal is to minimize the average cost per arrival. Each decision epoch corresponds to a new call arrival because we only need to make a decision when an emergency call arrives. After observing the state of all ambulance units, we need to decide which unit to be dispatched. When it finishes the service, it will return to the original station. Then we can formulate this problem as an um, average reward weekly coupled Markov decision process. The state space captures unit availability at each station, and the action space covers unit dispatch decisions. This problem's complexity and the linking constraint, where this is where the weekly coupled comes from, make this problem really challenging. And we should use two approximation policies next, both with uh, asymptotically optimal uh, theoretical guarantees. So this first is, uh, is a deterministic LP approximation. We first use this fluid relaxation to get a lower bound to the original problem. Decision variable xij here denotes call served by station i for call j per unit time. Cost must be served, and we also need to satisfy the resource constraint. The solution suggests the station allocation policy, which we call SAP here. Uh, the idea is that uh, it first selects a station I with pro uh, probability Xij over lambda J. If the station has no available unit, we will dispatch the flexible units. Our policy is asymptotically optimal with converging ratio one over square root of theta, and this holds under general service time distributions. Lagrangian relaxation with respect to weekly coupled DP is another approximation method we propose. This approach relaxes the linking constraint using a Lagrangian penalty to penalize violations. It also offers a lower bound, and the linear program helps to find the best penalty for the tightest bound. We first prove that Lagrangian relaxation provides a tighter bound than the deterministic LP. Moreover, we construct a similar SAP policy, which is also asymptotically optimal with the same convergence ratio. Next, we show our results using a case study of St. Paul, Minnesota. We use Google API to get the travel distance, and the city is divided into 71 subregions according to census tracts. Okay, let's take a look at the results. The x-axis represents the value of scaling parameter theta, and the y-axis represents the value of average cost per arrival. The dash blue line, which represents the lower bound we obtained from Lagrangian relaxation, is always above the solid blue line, the lower bound we obtained from the LP approximation. And both of our policies are symptotically optimal, as you can show in the figure. Moreover, we use a resolving policy to further improve the performance, which repeatedly solving the deterministic LP to obtain dispatch probabilities with the existing available resources in real time. The MLP policy, on the contrary, performs poorly. We also check our result under general distribution of service time. For example, the weighable distribution, the log normal distribution, and also the sum of two exponential distributions, all showing the same asymptotic convergence results. As a final conclusion in this work, we model the ambulance dispatch problem as an average reward weekly couple DP. And our model is practical and general in many aspects. We developed develop two asymptotically optimal policies called SAP 
and the resolving heuristic based on SAP that performs better. Numerical results using real data confirm our theoretical findings. Thank you.